Hey guys, what's up? It's Kev Concepts here, and today I have another tutorial for you guys. And this is probably the first time I've ever uploaded two tutorials in a row. So, yeah, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me for tutorials and stuff, and it seems like you guys have been enjoying them. So, for this tutorial, I'm sort of going to make uh, a couple parts for this tutorial because a lot of people have been asking me how to make a professional 2D background and stuff like that. So I'm going to be showing you guys one method on um, how to, what kind of um, background to make, um, how to make it, and this background. Uh, if you go around YouTube and stuff, you can uh, find it a lot in um, some designs, and it's going to be sort of like a metallic -y, uh, futuristic technological background um, and it's simple clean and it's pretty easy to make it's just um, has a lot of uh, layer layer adjustments and styles in it to um, make it look like how it is and it's sort of like um, how my I, I made a background for myself with it as well so and I'm going to be making um, a couple of a couple of other people um, clients that kind of background as well. So let's get started, guys. And this is probably going to be part one. All right. So first of all, um, you want a transparent layer like you have right here, and just pick some, any color that you want. Um, let's just pick a white one for this, and just basically um, say let's, let's get the rectangle tool and. Um, for the first part, let's get a sort of mid grayish, whitish to black color and put it on the top like that. On the top like that. And then we're going to go to the next layer. Let's just name this top and let's just go to this layer. And let's sort of get a lighter white and make sure it's under that layer and we're just going to put it in like this all right i'm just going to move it down a little slightly and then we're going to make a new layer above this one top number two i'm just going to name that top number two we're just going to name this mid three all right now we want to get a sort of lighter white, but still on the grayish side, and we're going to put it like this, um, sort of put it up to here. All right, so now we have these three colors, these three um, shades of whitish gray in this order, and now um, I'm going to make another layer below the mid three one and we're going to put a darker darker um gray of that ver of that version that we just put in and we're going to make it around this size around this size okay so and now we just want to make the background let's make this fourth we're gonna make the background just to sort of light white let's make the background a white all right so now we have this basic color scheme and now we're going to add some layer adjustments to this thing to make it look how we want it all right so first off let's get this mid three one this one right here and double click it and we're just going to add some layer adjustments so first off we're going to add a drop shadow we're going to put the drop shadow to distance of 0, and then we're going to put the size to around 10. And then we're going to put the opacity around 50-ish. Alright, now after that, we're going to go to gradient overlay, and then we're going to um, select a different kind of gradient. And we're going to pick this last one. It has the transparent markings, and it shades from a uh, transparent to a blackish gray and now we're going to lower the opacity to around 25 and we're going to keep the scale at 100 percent and then the angle at 90 next we're going to add um a stroke no yes yes a stroke <laughs> and we're going to put the opacity at 25 and then after that we're going to add a bevel and an um 
emboss and we're going to put the depth to around we're going to put the depth to uh, uh let's put it at 25 I might change that up a little and then we're going to put the size to 0 and then the softness to round 2 all right so we have depth at 25% softness at 2 size at 0 all right so then that's what we have here so far and then now we're gonna get the top top part and we're going to add an inner shadow to that and we're gonna make the distance zero and the size to 10 10 percent now if you see on the sides it sort of like shadows in I don't it's kind of bothering me a little so I'm just gonna zoom up to that and just expand it and hide it to the side sort of bothering me a little so we're just going to do that alrighty uh, for this episode we're probably just going to set up the back um, for now and then add textures and stuff um, in a little bit after alright so now we got this set up and now we're just going to get the top number two Yes, that middle part, that top-ish, the second top one. And, let's see, what shall we add? Uh, we are going to add a gradient to that, I believe so. Um, trying to remember what I did for that. I think I just let it, I just think I, yeah, I probably just let it there. We're just going to add a gradient and put the opacity to 10. Let's just do that. Yes, yes, okay. And then now, we're just going to get the uh, fourth one, fourth one down here, and we're just going to add a, just going to add a inner shadow, no, 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 yeah, inner shadow, um, yeah, inner shadow, distance zero, size ten, alright, and then we're just going to do the same what we did with the top, extend, expand it to the sides a little, and, yeah, so guys, I'm pr probably going to stop episode part one right here. So, you should have this basic um, style going in, going with this right now. Uh, I might have a PSD file in the uh, description um, for you guys, if just to look at the settings and stuff. I might not, who knows. So, yeah. Um, next part, um, part number two will be coming out later. Um, throughout the week and I uh, hope you guys subscribe to the channel so you guys can know when that is coming out or favorite this video or whatever method you guys want choose to do so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed this so far and um, can't wait to make episode 2 for you guys and um, please like and comment and guys um, comment what what tutorial you guys want to see more of and stuff. Uh, I'm still going to continue this, of course. We're not done, so, obviously. But, yeah. All right, guys. So, ho hopefully you guys have a nice day and a great weekend. And see you all later. Peace.